Happy Crafters, this is Claudia again. Today I'm working on my quilt journal. Those books there are not fully completed, <laughs> but I plan to work on them as the month ends and switch themes because there are themes to each month for my quilt journals. I will probably get to work on those and get them filled up with lots of quotes. So today I'm using a digital kit uh, by Felicity Jane. It's the Alexis kit. Um, the paper actually was paper, just regular cardstock that I got when I placed an order with them. But the rest of the items came from the digital uh, kit. I really love digital kits. I just get them printed at my local printing uh, company and they do a really good job. This time I actually got them printed on uh, sticker paper or labeled paper, what they call. And so they're, they're actually stickers. They have glue on the back. So the layout for today is a bunting. That's what I've heard this thing is called. I called it a little banner, but they say it's a bunting. And so here is the digital kit. I got those sheets printed. I used Photoshop to add these images to a sheet of paper or a you know digital sheet of paper and then had those printed like I said at the printing company. I love digital um, you know kits they just work for me and this especially this one it was just such a pretty collection um, and I had so much fun this is like my second layout uh, that I've used with this uh, kit with these images. So I go ahead and just cut the items that I feel that I'm going to be using or that will work for my layout and just kind of create a little pile there. I wanted to use this tag, but it was just a little bit too big. So I went ahead and used another tag as a template. I love tags and so therefore I just kind of have them in different sizes and I turn, uh, you know, paper and sometimes um, journaling cards. I might want to kind of steal part of the, you know, maybe I'm not using the whole journal card, but there's something in it that's so pretty. And if I can turn that into a tag, I, I sure do. <laughs> so I'm trying to arrange all the pieces here the way I think they're going to fit right. And I'm selecting some of the colors. And there is something different about this layout as well that I've done. Um, well, I should say with the technique that came from this layout. They will be, I will be posting another video soon uh, where I've used this exact same layout or this design uh, in a different journal. So that you can kind of see that you can grab one design from you know your favorite design and just kind of use it throughout your journals you just kind of adapt to whatever it is that you're working on and you can steal and borrow from your own designs i won't be able to put that out until maybe in a couple of days i am so lucky to be working on a another my second big picture classes class <laughs> so i'm making a class for big picture classes. Uh, my first class released in January, at the end of January, and it's doing so well. If you took that class, I would love to hear some input and see what you thought. Um, it's The first class was on a junk journal. It's called the Traveling Junk Journal because we make, in the class, I show you how to make a journal specifically for a trip that you might be taking. So, uh, I'm working on a second class and that's taking up a lot of time. There's a lot of videos, a lot of photos, a lots of editing. So as soon as I get done with that, I will be posting more here, uh, more process videos. And um, what else? What, what other news do I have to share? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you. I've been getting a lot of comments wonderful comments about some of my other videos and how much they like the mixed media. I just recently placed an order with Joann's. My father-in-law uh, for Christmas got me a Joann's gift card and I just placed an order and I ordered some more stencils and some more mixed media um, supplies and I can't wait to start playing with those. But um, 
well, I'll wait until I get to the part of the video because there's a funny story there. Um, so just to let you know what I'm doing here because this is called a process video, Claudia, right? <laughs> but sometimes, guys, I think that it's obvious you can tell what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I think, well, you mention what you're using because sometimes you're like, well, what was that? Well, that little glue that I'm using to adhere the baker's twine it, they're glue dots and you'll see me grab it right there and they're just little circles of very strong adhesive and you can see it there I'm kind of pulling it because they're kind of stretchy and for little items like this they're very strong and they hold things you know pretty well in place so it kind of adds a little bit of a you know puffiness or, or you know, erases up whatever you use it on uh, but that's okay um, I added a couple of knots at the end of the baker's twine, but then I realized, wait a minute, I have tags. I love tags, and like I said earlier, I make tags all the time. So I wanted to string up the tags onto the baker's twine, and so I undid the knot and started stringing them on, just a couple of them. And because these are stickers, I kind of had to peel off a little bit of the backing, but not adhere it completely onto the page because I wasn't you know sure where I was going to end up so then I attached some of those in there and then just kind of keep attaching some of the little items I love that um, scallop effect that cardstock has at the bottom uh, Felicity Jane does that a lot on her on her um, cardstock. She adds, it, they're usually double sided, and it's it's a monochromatic. So it'll, it, you know, on this on one side it might be a hot pink, and on the other side is a lighter shade of that same pink. So here's the funny story I was gonna tell you. You see that my my pen there, my glue pen, my blue glue pen. <laughs> I love that pen. You see me using it pretty much in every video that I, you know, process video. So that order that I told you I had placed with Joann's. So I thought I was ordering one pen, but apparently I ordered a box of them. So when the order arrived, there was a box of 12 of them. Uh, I love them, but I won't be able to go through them that quickly. So I've decided to do a little giveaway of those pens. And guys, I'm sorry, it's going to be, well, I, I've never done a giveaway here on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know if, you know, I've done them on my Instagram. I don't, you know, expect you to follow me on Instagram if you don't. And you, maybe you follow me here, but you don't follow me on Instagram if you're not. Uh, I, I'll think about it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do two. I'll do one giveaway here and one giveaway on Instagram. How about that? I think that might be a little bit more fair, right? So details will be coming soon, but I just thought it was kind of kind of a, a neat thing and benefit for you that I ended up with extra pens. And so now I'll be able to share uh, with you guys. So maybe what I'll do is for every comment that you leave here uh, under this process video, I will, you know, that will be one of the entries. So hopefully that will work. Let me know if you have any other suggestions. Like I said, I've never done a giveaway here on, on uh, YouTube. So as you can see, I use that pen a lot. It's just very handy for when you're attaching tiny little bits of things here and there on your layout. And as I continue to add, I that's one thing I do for when I use when I use hearts or butterflies, I kind of love to just add it on the center and I'm attaching a glue dot there just on the center of that heart. And then because it's folded, I put it right in the center of the fold of the book. And there, it, it actually allows the book to close fine. But then when you open it, it kind of adds a little bit of a pop-up effect. So that's one little trick there. And you can stack up two hearts, one on top of each other, different sizes. And that kind of adds a little bit even more interest. So now I'm adding a few more little puffy stickers. And those are also by Felicity Jane. Um, I love those. And I'm going to be sad when I run out. <laughs> um... 
what else? So that happy word there, I thought, oh, this is great. The theme for this month on my quotes is happy. If you want to know more about that, I do have a free printable on my blog where you can get the themes for each month if you want to follow alone, along uh, with this quote journal. Everybody seems to love it. I want to see more of your pages, things that you guys do and share quotes. I actually even have a hashtag uh, on Instagram and it's my quote journal. So if you want to post your layouts of your quote journal there, so that way we can all see them and we can all share, that would be great. And um, what else? What else was I saying? I lost it. I lost it. Um, anyway, so the theme was happy. That's what it was. But as you can see, I ended up not using the word happy. Um, I'll just use it somewhere else. <laughs> but this turned out even cuter there. And hey, my quotes are about happy, so that's okay. And like I said, um, I do have a Facebook group called Creative Journals where I share... I mean, guys, I share the same information that I share on my Instagram sometimes and my wording changes. <laughs> but the reason why is because there are some people who are not on Instagram and they are only on Facebook. And so I feel that that's just another way of sharing, uh, you know, just having another outlet to share my quotes and my journals and, you know, fun things like that. So I went ahead and printed my quotes on first on a sheet of paper and then because I only had a strip left of this same cardstock that's how it came in handy just to print it first I line up my pink paper on top of the white paper that you know came out from my printer so I know exactly where it's going to print and then I'm able to use the same paper I thought it was kind of a neat neat trick to kind of print on the same paper so it was you know tone on tone uh, and then it just kind of looked kind of <laughs> like it was printed onto that same page the background page but it wasn't it just adds a little bit of more dimension and then I forgot to do this at the beginning so hey there is no reason why I couldn't fix it I went ahead and just cover um, you know the embellishments with a little piece of paper and I was still able to do my little splattering effect uh, on both sides on top and the bottom and that's like I said you there are there is ways on how you can fix little things like that so I used a paper towel to kind of dab the ink and I ended up smudging a little bit of it on the right side but that was okay I was able to cover it with the little strips of paper and no biggie. So to add uh, more interest or a pop-up, I don't know what to call it, I went ahead and after I glued both of the quotes, I grab my pen and I go around the little strips and it just kind of makes them pop up. But because of, like it's printed on the other, you know, on a second, on a separate piece of paper, it still works. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some inspiration here today. Um, I hope that uh, you, you know, get to work on your crafty journal today, on your quote journal this weekend. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will have close-ups at the end. I will have a supply list. And nope, you did not get away with not watching me do some doodling because I did. Sorry, <laughs> but I know you're liking the doodling because you're doing it on your pages too. So thanks so much, you guys. I hope I will get to see some of your layouts soon. Bye.